Hello everyone. Welcome to my virtual lesson on when to use an incomplete block design. You may address me by Mr. Cook and if you have any questions after the lecture is over feel free to email me at kecook at calpoly.edu. So let's first start by reviewing what a complete block design is with an example. Let's say you're trying to test how many miles per gallon a car is going to receive based on three different types of gasoline maybe or however many and so you have you want to block here by car using three different cars to test the three different types of gasoline three times each so you have your car one car two car three and you want to make the blocks of course And then you have your three types of gasoline, type A, type B, type C. And you have gasoline. Well, first, let me go over the cars. And you have gasoline type, like I was saying, A, B, and C. And for the other two cars, you're not going to want to put A, B, and C again. You're going to want to randomize the order of the gasolines that are being put into the car to create what we know as an R, C, B, D, which is a randomized, complete block design. So you're, we're going to want to put B, C, A, and then C, A, B, or whatever. Just make sure that they're randomized. Make sure that it's not A, B, C every time for each car to accommodate for the random sources of variation outside of gasoline and obviously we're blocking by the cars as well. So this is obviously not what we're looking to explain here. I'm trying to explain to you what an incomplete block design is. So let's change up this example a little bit. Okay, so let's say you have five different types of gasoline now, but you only have the time to drive each car four times. This would give us a combinatoric design which comes with a formula to tell us how many cars we would need to do to make this a balanced incomplete block design. So it starts with the number of treatments over the number of times each treatment can be replicated, which in this case we have five different types of gasoline and four times each. You have the amount of time here to only drive each car four times, so you can't do the full randomized complete block design. You have to do an incomplete block design here. And so we have the number of gases here on top factorial as well as the amount of replicants factorial and then you have n minus r factorial on the bottom so in our situation we're going to have five factorial over four factorial times five minus four factorial which is going to give us five total cars in the situation in our experiment and so since we know this, we have our T, which is going to be treatments, which equals five. We know we can only replicate, we can only have four times each car will be driven. So our K will equal four, which is the uh, amount of replicants per treatment. And then we're going to have five blocks total. Well, this is actually the length of the blocks, not the replication per treatment. And then we have R being four replications per treatment as well as each treatment combination being gasoline A and B matching up together four times each between the complete block design. So we have the gasoline on the top and we're still blocking by car here. So we're going to have five cars that we're testing four times each. So we have cars And we can only drive each car four times, remember, so we're going to have the incomplete block design of having the four different gasolines per each car here, where we would normally want five to have the randomized complete block design. And I'm saying randomized because you're always going to want to have the randomization in your experiment to account for that random variability that's going to be in any experiment you do. So here we're obviously going to move each gasoline 
you have gasolines A through E here because you have five gasolines. So you have maybe A, C, D, E. Take out A, now maybe you have B, D, E, C, and so on and so forth. Maybe you have D, A, B, E, and C, D, E, A, and then maybe B, C, E, A. And here you have your balanced, incomplete block design. This is going to differ from our original example of our randomized complete block design because we had the three types of gasoline here being tested between each car. So we had each A, B, C being tested for each car. In our second example, in our balanced incomplete block design, we're going to have each, th each gasoline only able to be tested four times for each car. So we are unable to complete the block design. And this is a situation where you would want to use the incomplete block design, obviously. And that pretty much sums everything up. Thank you for listening and I hope you have a great rest of your day. And that's it.